actually simultaneous equations where one is linear, one is non-linear, obviously. Right? So when you have this case, linear and non-linear, always substitute the linear equation into the non-linear equation. So let's do that. Let's label them one, two. So I'll say substitute equation one, which is linear, into equation two, which is non-linear. Um, let's do that. So equation one, why is this the formula? Anyway, I see y in equation two, now I'm gonna put eight minus x, right? So it's gonna look like this. Write back equation two, two x squared plus x. Don't write y, instead write eight minus x, because I substituted this equation into that equation. Equals to negative 16, bring back the 16. Now I just simplify this and see what happens. 2x squared plus x by 8 is 8x. x by x is x squared, but it's a negative sign. Take away 16. Let's keep going. Let's use x squared, let's join them together. So there's like two apples. Take away one apple because there's no coefficient, so that means one, right? So um, I just leave it 1x squared, or I can just write x squared. These two came together. Put back this 8x there. Let's bring him across to meet his friends. Change his sign. Come across, right? Additive inverse. Okay, so x squared plus 8x plus 16. 8. Sum. Two numbers that add to give me 8, but multiply to give me 16. That's how you solve this quadratic. And you should get this, which is interesting, you get 4 twice, 4, 4, so x plus 4, x plus 4. This will give me x plus 4 equals 0, so x is equal to negative 4, in both cases, right, so I can just do it for 1, only. So x is equal to negative 4 only. Normally you would have done it for this and this, but both of them are going to give you the same answer, right, so no need to overdo that. Plenty of people stop here, but don't stop there. You need to still get the value for y. So substitute 4x in equation 1. Don't go and be mad and substitute this in equation 2. Eh? Uh, that two. Substitute it in a nice little simple equation. Substitute 4x in equation 1. This will give y equal 8 take in negative 4, which is 8 plus 4, negative and negative positive which is 12. So therefore the, um, the answers are x equal negative 4 and y equal 12. Right? Now this is interesting because normally when you get these situations with a linear and a non-linear and you get a quadratic equation, you're going to get two answers for x and consequently two answers for y, right? Two points. But what this is saying is that this curve this line is just skimming the curve, it's a tangent. And I think this question, the next part of this question went on to ask that. Why, why is it a tangent? Yes it is, because you only get one answer. This is a weird thing, this doesn't happen just so. so. Alright, that's the end.